Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are a free to play player here in Warzone or DMZ, you probably realize that you've got quite a ways to go in terms of leveling up weapons or maybe even just unlocking weapons here because of the new system where in some cases, you know, certain weapons are locked until you reach a certain level on a different weapon, right? With the whole weapon platform and family tree system. So if you're jumping into Warzone 2 or DMZ for the first time, not having played MW2 multiplayer, there's a lot to grind. You've got to level up a lot of different stuff. And today we are focusing on the fastest ways to get weapon XP and to level up your weapons without having to own Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Now, this year with this iteration of Warzone, things are a bit different, at least for now, in a slightly more inconvenient way for free to play players in terms of leveling things up. Uh, obviously, right now, the big missing factor is plunder. There is no plunder LTM. There is no plunder mode here in Warzone 2, meaning you have to play Battle Royale or on the contrary, also DMZ, which is going to be a big factor in leveling up weapons quickly here that we'll get to later on in the video. Now, plunder has been a leaked mode in the files, apparently from season one's updates. So hopefully it's something that is added in sooner rather than later so that free to play players can just drop into that rather than having to, you know, test their luck in battle royale, having to work towards getting their loadout, which is obviously also a little bit different this year in core BR gameplay. You can just drop in with your loadout right away, play that more casual respawn based mode. So obviously once plunder is introduced, that's going to be a huge W for leveling up weapons a bit faster. However, in game right now, even without plunder, there are some ways to get a seriously, seriously significant amount of XP for your weapons in a very short amount of time. Now, uh, the first thing here that you can do to get some pretty cheesy and easy XP is to take advantage of the pregame, the sort of warm up session, if you will, before a match. This can last a couple of minutes sometimes, depending on how fast your lobby fills. The inconvenient part here, though, is that it doesn't let you use your custom loadouts. It gives you a random loadout comprised of different weapons. Sometimes it's overkill weapons. Sometimes it's a pistol and a primary. Uh, but if you are a new player to Warzone 2 here and you're trying to get uh, weapons leveled up, perhaps you get a uh, weapon in the pregame in the warmup that you don't have leveled. You can get a quick couple of kills in the pregame. And ultimately, that's some pretty easy XP. There's a lot of AFK players that are on the ground just standing still or floating in without, uh, you know, actually playing. So you can cheese a couple of easy kills in the warmup. That's not gonna, you know, amount to any significant amount of XP, but hey, it's XP regardless and an easier way to get some, you know what I'm saying? This next tip I can give you guys is by far currently the best way to get XP if you do not own multiplayer here in MW2. Within Warzone gameplay in Battle Royale, we have a new series of contracts this year. Intel, which is very similar to like recons and supply drops in uh, the supply runs rather, which is a very straightforward and easy contract to do. You'd want to be looking for those on your map. You also want to be looking for these safe cracker contracts where you activate one of those and then it spawns in three safes near your location. You just go to those, you blow them up, you get the rewards. And after you do all three, you complete that contract. After you complete the Intel contract and do that mission, you get the XP for that. And what matters here is completing these contracts and having the weapon that you want to level up in your hands. That's what it is going to focus on. If you have, let's say, a cast off 74, you in your hands and it's level one and you complete that safe cracker contract, you're gonna get all the XP from that contract uh, to your cast off 74 U. And I've seen people, you know, complete two or three safe cracker contracts in 10 to 15 minutes, like they take two or three minutes a piece, really. You complete a couple of those, you can rank up your weapon from one to 10, one to 15 in just a few minutes. It is an insane, insane amount of XP that is rewarded for doing contracts in Warzone 2. And it just so happens that the safe cracker and Intel contracts are super easy to complete and not nearly as time consuming or difficult as let's say the bounties are going for, you know, the Kings as well or the uh, the most wanted contracts if you will so doing intels and doing safe crackers is a guaranteed way to get a ton of weapon xp in a very very short amount of time and of course that's focused on battle royale gameplay another free to play aspect of uh you know this game this year is dmz which is somewhat similar to plunder in the sense that you can get your loadout very easily in this and it is a little bit more casual compared to battle royale uh but obviously if your full team gets eliminated you still get taken out but within dmz there are some really good ways to get some uh easy xp as well as we get into that just want to remind you guys if you are new to the channel every single day i got you covered with the latest news and updates so you can always guarantee you are up to date with everything going on in cod 
and I got you covered as well with the best class setups, loadouts, and tips to help you guys improve at the game so you're always on your A game while playing. So if you want to stay up to date with all that, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Around 57% of viewers watching are not already subscribed, and we are getting super, super close to 900,000 subs. Also, if you guys enjoy this video or if you find it helpful, a like rating would be seriously appreciated. Let's try and aim for 3000 likes on this one. Now, as I mentioned, DMZ, yes, can have that casual aspect to it where you don't have to worry about the zone pushing you somewhere you don't want to go. You can acquire your weapons relatively easily here because you can actually set up that loadout with your contraband weapons or with your insured weapon. However, you do still run the risk of if you drop in with an insured weapon, if you drop in with one of your contraband weapons and you do not exfil, let's say your game crashes or your squad gets taken out or if you're in there solo and you die, you do lose that gun. Uh, for instance, the uh, insured weapons, I believe if you take that into battle, you lose your DMZ match. You can't use that specific gun for like another two hours in your insured slot. So that's just something to, you know, take into consideration. There is that risk of potentially losing your gun. However, it's also a lot more friendly and a lot more welcoming and laid back than Battle Royale is when it comes to gameplay, especially because of the amount of bots in DMZ. There are bots everywhere. There are AI everywhere. Some of them are more difficult to kill than others, like around the strongholds or the black sites or areas like that. But there's also just random giant amounts of AI that spawn in towns or buy houses or whatever the case may be. And killing those bots with the weapon that you're trying to level up does net you a decent amount of XP. Now, it's not going to be as solid as doing those contracts over in Battle Royale, but still, it's super easy kills here. Like bot kills are not difficult until you get to some of the more advanced areas of the map. The ones that spawn randomly throughout super easy to take out it takes a couple of bullets some of them you can one shot headshot depending on the weapon right so that is a very easy way very straightforward way for anyone to get some simple xp again it might take you a little bit longer to fully max a, a, a weapon doing this with all the levels there but it's not going to require much effort Another thing you can do just like over in Battle Royale is focus on the contracts in DMZ as well. Going into safe houses and unlocking those and completing the various, you know, bomb detonation contracts that are there or anything that might appear as a mission or an objective there. As long as you have that specific weapon that you're looking to level up out when you complete it, that XP is going to be awarded towards that weapon as well. And of course, per usual, there's going to be real players on the DMZ map too. So if you happen to take them out, that's some easy XP or in some cases might not be so easy XP, but it's XP regardless. And obviously just getting basic kills in any mode, Battle Royale or DMZ is going to net you XP as well. That's going to be the most straightforward. Don't feel like I needed to include getting kills as an overall XP tip here, obviously. But by doing those few specific things, especially the contracts in both DMZ and Battle Royale here in Warzone 2, you are going to get some pretty extreme amounts of XP in a very short amount of time. Now, this could potentially get patched in the future. Maybe they reward less XP in some future updates. But as of now, those are the go to ways. Cheese some warm up kills, go for those Intel and Safecracker contracts in Battle Royale, kill those bots in DMZ, and go for those DMZ contracts and objectives as well. And you should be leveling up your weapons in a very short amount of time. That way you can compete more in the overall meta, use those guns that you want to use, start working on those camo challenges, and obviously unlock more weapons for future use as well. All that being said, though, that is going to wrap things up for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video or if you found it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. It would be seriously appreciated. It does really help the channel grow. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Join us on the road to 900,000 subscribers. We'd love to have you here and really do appreciate all the support on the recent videos. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.